Today's video is sponsored by UT1Buy.com. If you would like to buy a FIFA 15 Ultimate Team account preloaded with millions of coins, then make sure you check them out and use the code JARREDHD to get 5% off your order. Nice. G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to episode number 31 of the Walsall. Road to Glory career mode series. We're going to kick off today's episode with a matchup at home in the championship. We are taking on Ipswich Town. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we can pick up all three points and keep this amazing league run going. Two points out of first and it'd be fantastic to win the championship in our first season. But pushing on 10 minutes into the game, it is Tom Bradshaw on the ball. Unleashed, takes a strike, but Gherkin, the, the Ipswich Town Keeper, does make a fantastic save. 14 minutes into it, though. High am to McGoldrick, and the McGoldrick gets it past freaking Moret, giving Ipswich Town an early 1-0 advantage. But, lads, we have been in absolutely amazing form, and we are determined to pull this game back. 32 minutes into it, though. Ipswich are on the attack once again. Tab squares it to Hyam. Hyam to McGoldrick once again. A good tackle from Connor Goldson, but it goes straight to Murphy. To McGoldrick, a great block. And we are so lucky there not to concede another goal. Ipswich hit it off the post. Krishna, though, making a crucial challenge. Challenge Five minutes left in the half. He's going to square it to Sam Mantum. Who passes it to Bradshaw? Bradshaw into the back of the net. And Bradshaw, he ties this game up. A fantastic piece of passing there from the lads. And we now have a one or scoreline on our hands. Fantastic stuff heading into the second half, though. It is Merrick playing it out, and it gets intercepted there from Hewitt. The Ipswich man gets past our defense, taking the strike, putting it just wide of the post. Thank the bloody lord that happened. It would have been so disappointing to concede in that sort of fashion. But McGoldrick gets tackled there from Jerome Pollens. High am to par. Ipswich still on the attack. They whip it into Gordon. Gordon with the header. And thankfully, Gordon heads it just to the right-hand side. And then with three minutes to play, it goes to Zalalem, who plays it over the top to Bradshaw. Bradshaw, a good ball there to Dush. We now have an open goal on our hands. Can we get a late victory? Dush gets it past the keeper. Off the post. Into the back of the net. And that is three points rescued in the final minutes. Not quite sure what Ipswich were doing defensively, and their goalkeeper was quite piss poor. But, you know, we'll take it every single day of the week. A 2-1 victory, a rescue victory against Ipswich Town at home. We will happily take that and use that momentum heading into this away game. We are traveling to Sheffield to take on 10th place Sheffield Wednesday. And take a look at that, lads. We are equal first with Leicester, only behind on goal difference. So we just need to keep pumping in those wins, hoping that Leicester slip up and then we will be in first position. Here is the Sheffield Wednesday lineup, though. Not too strong, but we definitely need to watch out for them. But we are rocking quite a strong lineup. Bradshaw has been in amazing form lately, so we need to keep him in that squad. Sheffield, though, kicking off the matchup, uh, sitting on the attack. A fantastic save there from Merrick, denying them an early goal. Don't want to concede that early goal. It just gets you in a shitty mood for the whole game. But Zalalem... He is unleashed here from a good ball from Bradshaw. Zalalem looking for an option. It's going to square it across goals to Lee Kyun Ho. Lee Kyun Ho sets the sweaty goal into the back of the net. And they do celebrate as we do go ahead 1-0. 16 minutes into this game. Forde though into Taylor. Taylor to Jordan Cook. The Ranger, he's going to cut inside, looking for an option, finds Zalalem. Zalalem to Lee Kyun Ho to Bradshaw. Bradshaw gets around the defense. Bradshaw... What a goal, my friend. 2-0 advantage against Sheffield Wednesday. But that was a fantastically worked goal there from it. freaking Bradshaw. Been in amazing form as of late. May to Lavery. Lavery to Hutchinson. And fortunately, we are able to quick clear it quickly, fellas. So if you do go on to enjoy this episode, make sure that you do smash the crap out of that like button. As Lee Kun Ho almost makes it a 3 Nil advantage there against Sheffield Wednesday, but it does not matter. We go on to defeat Sheffield Wednesday. Two goals to nil away from home. 
fantastic stuff. It would be fantastic to see that Leicester has slipped up and we are in first position, but doesn't matter. You know, we're just going to keep winning, as I said. Reading are our next challenger, and look at that. Leicester get a draw, and we are in first position on the championship table. If you said to me at the start of the season that we would get first, Jesus, I would not expect that. I was hoping to creep into the playoffs and try to get a, a, good, a good draw, I suppose, a good run in the playoffs. But we now have a chance to win the league. That is absolutely fantastic. Reading, though, they are a good side. Anton Ferdinand, what a rock at the back he is. Adam Federici also in goals, the Australian beast. But Robinson Carnu to jo Johnson. Norwood to Johnson. And a good save there from Alex Moret. Been a fantastic signing so far. But Gold, he is going to play it through to Dush here. Dush cutting inside past Anton Ferdinand. Trying to put it into the back of the net. Gets the rebound, collects the scraps, and gives us a one Nil advantage against Reading at home. Fantastic stuff there. Getting us three points so far, but there is still plenty of time for Reading as McCleary runs up the sideline here. He's looking for an option. Cuts inside, trying to get past Shirinzi. He's going to square it. Back post to Tanner, but a good save. A comfortable save there from Moret. And then in the 19th minute... Ake off the free kick is going to pass it to O'Connor. The right back to Goldson. Our centre back and our wonderful captain is going to cut back around. He's going to square it. A good cross from Murphy to Murphy, I should say. But a good save there. But it does not matter. Three more points in the bag. A fantastic victory against a tough tough Reading side. And then the final matchup of today's episode is at home once again. We are taking on Rotherham United, who are in 14th position. We are still two points clear with three games remaining in this season. So, we can taste it, lads. We are so close to the championship title. It's going to come down to the wire, but we need to just make sure that we beat this Rotherham side. And as I said numerous times this episode, we just need to make sure that we keep on winning. Here is the Rotherham United lineup. Not too strong of a side, if I do say so myself. Although, I suppose you could say that we aren't that strong of a side. But, you know, we're proving it. On paper, we aren't amazing. But, you know, in theory, we are amazing. And we prove it right there. Tom Bradshaw, the Scottish Luis Suarez. We've got so many Scottish this. We've got the Scottish Messi and the Scottish Suarez. But the Scottish Suarez does give us a 1-0 advantage. Jordan Cook playing it through to Lee Kun Ho. And the Korean Ibrahimovic gets dispossessed. Forde, he's going to pass it back to Lee Kun Ho. A good save there from Loach. But Payne, the Kiwi midfielder, gives us a 2-0 advantage. 35 minutes into this game. We can taste the championship, lads. We are on absolute fire. And then before halftime, Cook to Forde. Forde, he gets this possessed. It goes to Payne. Payne with a strike, but it is a good save there from Loach. He was looking for a brace, but Rotherham do, in fact, deny us. Pringle gets dispossessed from Payne, who is having an amazing game. He passes it to Frecklington. Bradshaw takes the strike and just misses the left-hand corner. That would have been a rocket of a goal if he managed to score it. Just pinged off the boot, but lads, what a brilliant episode it has been. Four wins in this match, in this episode. We defeat Rotherham United, two goals to nil, and take a look at that. We are four points clear at the top of the championship ladder. One more victory in the next episode, and we will be the champions of the championship. Anyways, fellas, if you did enjoy this episode, make sure that you smash the crap out of that like button. It really helps me out. Subscribe if you are new around here. I post career mode content every day of the week. Follow me on my social media links. They are in the description as per usual. But most importantly, fellas, I hope you have a fantastic day. It has been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace out.